the Swiss city of Geneva, famous among other things for its wealth of watchmakers and chocolatiers. But it's also home to a small pioneering physics lab, which is trying to do something extraordinary, using lasers to change the weather. There are very fascinating um, properties linked with the laser, and it's also just beautiful to look at. Jean-Pierre Wolf has been experimenting with lasers for over 30 years. The focus of his research, making clouds. The idea is to modulate the water condensation in the air so that you can create clouds at a certain position where you wouldn't do it without the laser. In nature, clouds form when water droplets adhere to sand or dust particles, and the result is usually rain. Down we go, goggles in hand, to a darkened lab in the basement, home to the cloud chamber. Well, I'm dying to see it. Yeah, let's go then. The laser igniting a reaction, small ripples of cloud forming before our eyes. So if you are in, the, in your bathroom, you have a lot of water vapor, but no drops in the air. But if you look instead at the mirror, it's full of droplets because it needs some surface where the water can stick on. And here, this kind of surface is replaced by the laser itself. And they proved it can work outside the lab in the skies above Rome in 2013, an invisible beam creating wisps of cloud. Imagine, for instance, there are often these cases where you have on one side an ocean and then a mountain. On one side, you have always flooding, on the other side, drought. And the idea is to modulate a little bit. So uh, prevent raining here and then make it rain a little bit on the other side. As far back as the 1950s, we've been trying to manipulate the weather. Cloud seeding, dropping chemicals from high altitude, has been the preferred method. Although the efforts are huge and they spray a lot of chemicals, it's still not convincing. Cloud control is just one part of Wolf's atmospherics project. He's also trying to tame an unpredictable phenomenon, lightning. The cost due to lightning in the US is about three billion per year. In the lab, the lightning pulses between two electrodes. And when you fire the laser, the electrical charge jumps from the electrodes onto the beam. It's like a wire that you could actually scan everywhere and then you would touch this part of the cloud and then discharge it against the ground. And Wolf hopes his lasers could also help with the big one, climate change. We change the size of ice crystals, uh, mimicking the cirrus cloud 10 kilometer above our head, who play a very important role in, in radiative forcing and climate change, so that instead of heating the atmosphere in a way, uh, they would be cooling the atmosphere. So we are still working on that, but um, there is hope.